Hello everyone, this is Omar Kazarski from Bauer Web Solutions and today I wanted to show you quickly how to optimize an image online um, so it downloads as quickly as possible for your web pages but before I show you that I just wanted to talk to you very quickly about what optimization is in general. When you optimize an image you're trying to get the best um, trade-off between the quality or how it looks on the screen and the smallest file size when dealing with web pages or websites because the smaller the file is as far as the space it takes up on the hard drive the quicker it goes through the internet connection thus your web pages themselves and website load faster so I'd like to show you an example of a file that is typically taken from a digital camera so this image that we see here, this is our original image of some fruit, and it's actually very large in file size. It's actually a width of 1,600 pixels across by a height of 1,200 pixels vertically. That might not mean a lot to you, but most computer screens are probably as wide as 1,200 across and most web pages are really designed for a width of say a thousand pixels and by the time you take into account borders and scroll bars you're really looking about 900 to 950 maximum width so this image right now is huge now in Photoshop I could go to a command from the file menu you know and this file save as and save it in this case maybe as a as a JPEG image with a medium quality setting and this is an example of just doing that this file here demonstrates that you can see there's very little difference in the quality of the image however the dimensions of it are still pretty large so what I would normally do is resize it and there's several ways of doing that most people might go to the image menu and image size and take down the width to something more reasonable like 900 and I've done it here for this image so you can see this is the same image save with the same settings but cropped to a size that its maximum width is 900 pixels across and it's still a very large image and it still looks great if I were to compare those actual files let me just call it up here if we look here the original image is taking up 395k which is a lot for a web image just saving it with the Photoshop optimized settings and not changing the dimensions brought it down to 281k but by cropping it you know taking down its overall dimensions and the save for web settings I brought it down to 121k so practically a third and even more than that from the original size so now the question is all right, well, I don't have Photoshop. How can I optimize my images? Well, very simply, there is a resource on the web, and it's a free one, which is the best type of resources. If you go to a website called www.picresize.com, that's P I C R E S I Z E.com, this is a free online tool to resize your images. So very simply, I can, you know, make sure that you're dealing from your computer here, make sure that this button here is chosen. Now I could either choose to hit the browse button to locate the file that I want and navigate through my system here. I happen to be running on a Macintosh right now. Or even better, if you happen to have see your file here on your desktop, I can literally drag it from the desktop window onto that area here okay great there it is there's my original I hit the continue button here on the screen 
Now I could choose to crop it, in this sense, cropping it to get rid of extra image area. So for instance, maybe I, I didn't want this pink grapefruit here on the side. I just wanted to focus on the lemon slice and these limes here. So I could drag a selection mark here around that, resize it further by dragging one of the eight handles around it. And then when I'm ready to crop it, I could say crop selection here. Or I could say, you know what, I didn't want to do that. Let me just revert back to the original. We got a confirmation message. And if I want to do that, if I was making a crop, I can again resize it and I can click and drag inside of it to relocate it. Or if I decided, you know, I changed my mind, let me just deselect the crop. I can click deselect and I'm right back to where I started from. So I'm not going to crop the image. I also have the options here of rotating it or turning it clockwise or counterclockwise or flipping it like a piece of paper across horizontally or up and down. But again, I'll leave the rotation alone. That's optional. Resize your image here. Now I can use some of these presets here. Um, if you went to the preset of fit to screen, 800 resolution, that's a good starting point. If you wanted to do something custom, like I was using an example, let's say we change the width to 900. I don't need to change the height because when I click away, it's going to change the height in proportion here. So that gives me a nice little readings here. It shows me what my original one was, if I had cropped it, what the width and height of that was. And now with my new settings, the size will have gone from 1600 across by 1200 tall to 900 across and 675 in height. I have optional settings here to put a special effect on it, make it grayscale, sharpen it, whatever, but that's totally optional. I'm just going to leave it as none for now. And I'm going to save it in a format here. You have these different formats here. I would stay away from BMP. I'll have other tutorials explaining in more detail what each of these are, but very simply, if you have something photographic in nature, uh, your best bet is to save it as JPEG, okay, something that has a lot of tonality, something photographic in nature, and I'm even going to take it down to a quality of good, because even a good quality setting there is... Uh, very acceptable so but I'm gonna get the most savings by saving it as good I mean if you wanted to make it a little bit look a little bit better you can say better but your best file savings are going to be changing the JPEG quality to good I have all that set I hit the button here that says I'm done resize my image and there it is and it gives me my overall statistics there like what I started with the original size in width and height and its file size and now the new size all right and now, the final piece, I could view it if I wanted to here, just to see what it looks like. Okay, there it is. Very nice, as you can see. Looks great. So, in order for me to get it, for the purposes of then using it for my, for my web page here, I'm going to click on this button here that says Save to Disk. And I'm going to download it to my computer. And depending upon your operating system, it's going to download it to your downloads directory. In the case of a Macintosh here, it's here in my dock area. So I'll open that here in the find. You can see here is my downloads folder and there is my resize image. So I can use that, place it into my web page. If I'm using a content management system like WordPress, I can use WordPress to upload it to my site. And there you go. Taking the extra minute to optimize an image is going to make a profound difference in the overall speed of your website and well as save you megs and megs if not gigs of information on your web server host. So I hope this was informative and helps you out and you can check out other tips on our website at BowerWebSolutions.com.